David Bowie of the 80s um, is a very relaxed, and I know that, very relaxed David Bowie. Um, so it's just really a matter of you being able to sort of live your own life without being influenced by what, too much around you. And actually really sort of uh, uh, reorganising what I do and trying to make it constructive and positive. And that's been and will continue to be the hardest thing. Right. Um, I, th I never forget something John Lennon told me. We were talking about writing, and, and I would always admired the way he, he used to cut through so much of the bullshit, just come straight to the point with what he wanted to say. And he said, it's very easy. All, this. all you have to do is say what you mean, make it rhyme, put a backbeat to it. Right. And that I keep coming back to that principle. Did fame writer. sort of come out like that? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it was so easy. John had an incredible charisma that, that made you cut through things. Right. I can see the effect that he must have had on McCartney. I'm, I would imagine McCartney sorely misses that now. Right. Well, the tracks I've heard of Let, Let's Dance, I think are fantastic. Thank you this very much. This is the, uh, the single cover, which you, I don't know if you've seen or not. I but, have not. Um, yeah. Congratulations. Thank and you. And I think the China Girl should be the second single. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, very good. <laughs>